three different lactating mothers came for ultrasound of the breast due to severe pain in one of the breast and hence the mothers avoided feeding through the affected breast. I am giving the sonomammographic images of the affected mothers. I will repeat again, one of the breasts appears severely painful in all the three lactating mothers and so each mother avoided feeding through it and I am giving the ultrasound images of each and posting them in numbers. What all the findings and think about your diagnosis. Remember the diagnosis can be the same or it can be different. Please go through the images and think about the respective diagnosis. If you want more time, please pause the video and review again to assess the sonomammographic images. Within few seconds, I will give you the findings and the differential diagnosis and the final diagnosis. Are you ready? Let's go! The first picture shows a large oval wider than deep hypoechoclesion with good posterior acoustic enhancement. The lesion shows significant wall thickening and have internal echoes within the lesion. On Doppler, vascularity is detected around the wall and in the septations. The axillary tail shows significant lymphadenopathy with loss of corticomedullary differentiation. Now I will give you the additional clinical history of fever which was present for the past 3 days partially covered with antibiotics. The final diagnosis is breast abscess which was confirmed by needle aspiration and it was drained fully. Second picture reveals a huge discrete non-calcific isoechoic wider than deep mass lesion with multiple cystic components in the lesion. The cystic lesion has internal echoes. Posterior acoustic enhancement can be seen beneath the solid component. On Doppler, mild vascularity is detected in the solid component of the mass with very low resistant vascularity on spectral flow. The differential diagnosis is 1. Giant fibroadenoma with cystic degeneration which can be an infarct also. Second one is Flotz tumor. Third one is malignant transformation. So I will give you an additional clinical history and the follow up. She did not have history of fever during pregnancy or at present. No history of pain during pregnancy and it is acute now. Under aseptic precautions about 250 cc of turbid milky fluid was aspirated freely in the cystic components and the analysis of the fluid components ruled out malignancy or abscess. The cystic component becomes the same size within a week or two and hence lumpectomy was done and it revealed giant fibroadenoma with degeneration due to infarcts. Third one reveals a large distended and slightly ballooned out hypoechoclesion with internal echoes. Few connections are noted in between the lesions. No vascularity is noted within the lesion even though some vascularity was noted in the wall. The differential diagnosis is 1 is galactosyl, 2 is inspissated or infected colostrum, third one is breast abscess. The final diagnosis was galactosyl which was confirmed after aspiration analysis and then drained by incision. Now please go through the internal structure of the breast. After seeing this, you can remember that any lesion in the outer third of the breast parenchyma almost rules out galactosyl. Colostrum, which is the first milk after delivery, which is rich in antibodies with full of passive immunity and immunoglobulins. Here recent research says that those who have been fed with colostrum after delivery are highly resistant and they are not severely affected with COVID pneumonia. Now we will go to the common breast disorders related to pregnancy and lactation and they are separated in three different categories. You can see that fibroadenoma is the most common one with physiological and pathological changes. In the tumor type, you can see lactating adenoma and pregnancy related Burkitt lymphoma which might appear heterogeneous with no calcification, again I will say with no calcification or cystic component in general usually. Remember fibroadenoma in pregnancy and lactation can enlarge or shows cystic degeneration which is painless or has mild pain with changes in the volume. However, infarct in the large fibroadenoma is significantly painful, remember that. Finally, the purpose of this quiz is to emphasize the similar appearance of all of the above imaging choices of either breast abscess, cystic or infarcted degeneration of giant fibroadenoma or galactosyl. You can give your opinions about this quiz in the comment section. If you are interested in the other quizzes, you can click the blue colored R button to see rest of the quiz list. You can click and go through the quizzes if you are interested. Thank you very much for your patient hearing. Bye bye and take care.